time, yeah, like when the tour is over, it's, th this is all done. This is a sponsor message brought to you by YGSingle.com in tandem with discount code DDZBOT5 for the cheapest and best quality cards on the planet. Come face me, give in to your pride. The Calvin Tahan Chronicles are one of the most important retold legends within the Yu-Gi-Oh community. In order to fully understand the ideology of Calvin Tahan, it's important that we start from the beginning to get a holistic and empirical view. Calvin Khala Tahan is son of Hamid Tahan and Anna Khosa. His father Hamid is a chemical engineer born in Iran. Hamid was a doctor working locally in Tehran until the peak of the Iranian-Iraq conflict of 1989, of which Hamid was forced to either join the Royal Guard draft or leave the country. Hamid fled to Azerbaijan under the banner of Militaire Sans Frontières and stationed at Nasasnaya Air Base, where he would go on to live out the next five years and meet his future wife Anna and therefore have two children with. In 1991, the Tahans migrated to Canada and Hamid was able to secure citizenship because of his scientific breakthroughs during the Iran-Iraq conflict and became a part of Canada's Ministry of Defense. Growing up in Canada, Calvin became distant from his prodigy parents and became close to his sister, Sarah Tahan. Sarah would play chess and other strategy games, including card games, throughout Calvin's childhood until he discovered Yu-Gi-Oh! in his sophomore year of college in 2009. Troubled by his distant relationship from his parents, Calvin became an avid fan of bands such as Attack Attack, Yellow Card, Sum 41 and Tupac. In 2010, Calvin took part in a study exchange program in Tokyo and would do a course in genetic engineering at the Tokyo Institute of Technology. Calvin dabbled in the OCG part of the game and this is where he met his current day best friend, Shinsuke Hiyama. Hiyama and Tahan would practice and test Yugo together over the next year and upon his return to North America, Calvin would earn his first premier top at YCS Charlotte. Between the years of 2011 and 2014, not much is known of Calvin. Some say he returned to Japan and ran a small sushi bar while other theories suggest he had been sponsoring the Bolido brothers outside of the limelight. Some say Calvin actually died in 2012 during a Yakuza ambush in Okinawa and was replaced by his understudy's genetic clone, who be known as Liquid Calvin for the sake of this documentary. Liquid Calvin was reckless, impulsive, and extremely arrogant. In 2014, however, Liquid Calvin leads the forefront of the Yu-Gi-Oh! metagame. Over the next two years until ARG Charlotte, Liquid Calvin would amass six tops with primarily his signature deck, Big BA. By the end of the Players' Championship saga with long-term rival Base Lolly, Liquid Calvin gained many enemies along the way and announced his retirement. There are many theories suggesting why Liquid was forced into retirement, but the most accurate and likely reason is that Liquid was forced to siphon gas into a party hat after breaking down at the side of the road on the way to the event itself, causing total disarray for Liquid and his travelers. One month later, Solid Calvin attends his first ever ARG event and wins the whole thing with Super Quantums. The following months to come, Solid Calvin would go on to top two YCSs since his 2011 return to competitive play at both YCS Toronto and his hometown Canada, and then in Minneapolis. Solid Calvin is a lot more kinder, gentle and caring, and very concerned with the open public, and far different from his liquid counterpart. And this was seen in his character since joining the card guys. In 2017, however, Calvin's personality began to be a lot more confrontational and troublesome within the community. And yeah, like when the tour's over, it's, th this is all done. This may or may not be directly related to the disintegration of his romantic relationship with Card Guy's co-founder, Ryan Levine. When asked to comment upon regarding his change, official spokesperson and water boy for the Card Guys, Nishad, had this to say. Every Card Guy is his or her own person. I do not condone nor condemn Calvin for his actions in representing the team. Hashtag not my Card Guy. The final personality is where we appear to be in Calvin's amalgamation in 2017 who we shall dub Venom Calvin for identification purposes. But more recently in his personal life, Venom Calvin has personally launched smear campaigns and personal attacks on other team members, most notably Fat Bowden with the propagation of a defect discount code which will not be mentioned for viewer safety. Venom Calvin has made personal accusations at Pro Play Games and has created propaganda materials surrounding Yu-Gi-Oh! Black Market's up and coming players. Liquid has since disappeared after retiring, and Solid Calvin has been missing in action since his last YCS top. What we're left with now is the Venom Calvin personality, and this brings us up to date and concludes the legend so far. What will be in store for the future is yet to be seen. And yeah, like when the tour is over, it's, th this is all done. Come face me, give in to your pride. And yeah, like when the tour is over, it's, th this is all done.